you know, uh, this March, we had a plan to go to the studio because a uh, new album was already composed and actually we should uh, start, start the recording sessions. Situation <laughs> changed dramatically, yeah? So, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell, yeah. You know, so yeah, we had a plan to, to record the album, but uh, now we cannot think about the music at all. So it's very difficult time. And, you know, talking about the situation, it's almost 60 days of the war. And uh, only after first month, I started to listen something, you know, uh, because first days and first months, it was on the news, 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 24 for seven. So no music anymore. And just right now we, we start thinking about the different things like uh, life, like uh, let's continue something, let's uh, do, let's make a plan or something like this. So I wish, I wish uh, uh, to all musicians, heavy players and I mean, battle players uh, in the world, <laughs> No one knows well what the war is, is, is what the war it is. Yeah. So uh, let's make music, not war. But sometimes it's not so easy. How would you describe uh, Helon's music to a new listener to kind of get a feel of your uh, music? Mostly, mostly I, I use this word because we we have a. a quite a long history already yeah almost 20 years so our our uh, style was changed a bit and uh, as for now as the last maybe eight or ten years we closer it and closer to uh, death metal with some orient and tribal elements so uh, the biggest fun for us when we compose the music is uh, find uh, some kind of magic between us some kind of uh, you know shaman wipes if you know what i'm talking about so it's like a special feeling when you just kind of out of your body you know and just uh, inside the rehearsal room and something spirit between us or something like this so it's very very complicated feeling but it makes us uh yeah, what we are, yeah. So it's this metal with uh, uh, some atmosphere of uh, Orient and tribal themes. You know, there is a spirit of ancient times, and uh, previous album was uh, mostly concentrated, uh, uh, most I- I inspired by the uh, island Hortiz, it's our native city, Zaporozhye, and the place with the uh, long history of uh, Kisian tribes and. Um, history of our uh, country let's go to the latest album at the moment the skitian stam that came out in uh, 2020 so now that some time has already passed what are your thoughts on the album now i'm still proud of it because yeah it's uh, our biggest album for the moment yes uh, hopefully not uh, the last one but uh, the biggest for the moment for sure uh we made it for the five years i guess yeah because previous uh once upon a cast on it well what was in 2015 so we had almost uh, five years to make something new and uh we put a lot of uh full, full of uh uh our our passion in it so and uh, spend a lot of time in the studio with the arrangements and uh, with all these crazy instruments that we use a lot of crazy drums and uh, and the violins and the sitar and the uh, god pipe and something like this so um, you know uh, sometimes it's just like uh, Fresh air for me. Yeah, I uh, try to come back in these times when we composed it, and so yeah, it's actually it's actually still hot enough. You mentioned that you were ready to hit the recording studio uh, before the Russian attack. 
So uh, what can you tell about the coming album? What kind of musical direction are you going to take and uh, how much of the music is already written and done? We will uh, continue the same with the same feeling, I guess, like Sissy and Sam. We just move forward with the idea because if the main uh, feeling about the previous album was the shaman vibes, uh, we just concentrated on this feeling because there is magic in the studio, magic on the stage where, uh, while we are playing. So we would like just to cover it in stone somehow. So new records uh, will be called Shaman. There is a story, there is a concept, yeah? So uh, we already had eight tracks and uh, about 40 minutes or 40 plus minutes of uh, music. And uh, actually it's composed. We had a demo and um, demos records and um, mm, uh, pretty good quality, but this is definitely not enough for a uh, final uh, recording, final mix. Uh, I hope the the war will end soon and maybe maybe this summer we, we will go to the studio and uh, we will record this album because we are ready and uh, we feel so much passion about it now you know it just should help us to uh, to just live again to feel to, to receive that some feelings yeah something uh, besides the war, besides the terrible things that that are going now, and uh, we just uh, will be very happy uh, if it will be uh, a, any opportunity to start a recording. You said that uh, there's uh, almost 20 years of history behind Helon already, uh, 17 years to be exact. Uh, it's an amazing journey for a band. How do you remember like the first years as uh, Helion? It was fun because we are all in the, we are all, all, all guys was in the, one one city, Zaporozhye, it's our native city, and now we are living in a different cities and still playing and still continue to meet each other and um, uh, had a party and something like this, stuff like that. So, um, uh, those times was definitely was the funny time because we were a child somehow, you know, and uh, we had a lot of ambitions, like uh, we'll make a new album, our first album actually, and we will play on a big festival and Ozzy Osbourne will call us, like, guys, come on, let's go on tour or something like this. So, but, you know, in the same period, it was so, so true, you know, so natural for us. I just remember the rehearsal station, uh, sessions from the first album we played in a very very dark rehearsal room it was actually not our rehearsal room we just rented and we play materials like a mix of uh, trash and death metal we tried uh, to impress everybody with our techniques you know and uh, we just would like to be like a Chuck Schuldiner or something like this, yeah, with some elements of trash metal, of course, like a Sepultura, Slayer. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of ambition. It was a lot of passion in it. Uh, the recordings was really shitty because, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the studio in Ukraine was on a, those period was not so good as it is. So, but it, it, it was fun. We just received a great experience. You know, we, we, were, we had a good start in Ukraine because we uh, left the, uh, we left the community who always played in the underground, you know, in a basement of some um, buildings and stuff like that. So we uh, started, uh, uh, to tour in over Ukraine, and uh, we played on a couple of festivals. And in 2007, I guess, uh, we were um, invited to play with the creator, Anathema, and uh, I cannot remember. So it, 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 was, it was for us a great inspiration, you know, a great experience that after 
two years of existence, we participated stage with uh, actually in the Palm Death. It was was so we had a quite good and uh, inspirable period of our uh, uh, first years. But after 2010, 11, the styles and the state of mind changed dramatically to some death metal style. To maybe we just uh, change the, our perception from the direction to outside to inside or something like this. I cannot explain it. So we become more serious to our music. And uh, the first things that interest in me in my music, it's me, you know. Yeah, so you uh, give something to guitar, and guitar something gives to you. Yeah, so the main thing it feels the why because we are old. Let's 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 say yeah. So we are not young boys. Yeah, with a lot of ambition. So first of all, we, everybody has a job and families, and uh, the important thing is just uh, feel comfort and happy and. Um, passion when you play something 